much pain. Now his family is pleading for help to bring his killer to justice. Whoever did this, you wrong. We need some closure. We need justice. My mother don't deserve this. If you know something, saw something, heard something, please call the anonymous hotline. Now tonight, detectives call this a predator case, a case of predators killing somebody for no apparent reason, and they need your help to solve it. Live at D.C. Police Headquarters, I'm Ross Plater, ABC 7 News. Thanks, Ross. The nation's oldest known U.S. veteran has died. Emma Didlake was 110 years old. She visited President Obama at the White House last month. Didlake was 38 when she joined the Women's Army Auxiliary Corps, the WACS, during World War II. President Obama issued a statement tonight sending condolences to those who were inspired by her, quote, long and quintessentially American life. An emotional reunion, some decades in the making, it happened between a mother of four and the people who once saved her life. Lisa Hedgewish was a senior in high school when her car was hit by an out of control dump truck back in November of 1986. Two other students at St. Vincent Pilate High School died in that crash, but Lisa survived it, which these now mostly retired first responders remember like it happened just yesterday. I cut the seatbelt off of you. I was a paramedic on the first unit that responded. Hedgewish said that she'd always wanted to thank those who saved her, and today she got her chance. And that's the kind of thing that makes those guys want to go to work every single oh, day. Oh, for sure. Yep. Great story. All right. How about us tomorrow? What's going to make us feel like? <laughs> it may be a little less hot, but it's still pretty pretty nasty out there. Heat and humidity are back, and unfortunately, uh, it's going to be a couple of days before we get any relief. Okay. So hunker down in a cool spot, and we'll, we'll ride through it. <laughs> Take a look outside. Cool sweaty spot. Uh, 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 this is true. <laughs> Wear lots of deodorant. This is from earlier today. National, uh, not National, yeah, National Harbor. We're watching as the sun was setting this evening in the Capitol Wheel as the uh, sun was coming down. Uh, beautiful pink sky to the uh, hue of the sky. A few scattered clouds out there this evening. As far as numbers, take a look at some of these whoppers on the Weatherbug Network morning side today. 94 degrees, currently 76 out there right now. Culpepper checking in at 77 after a high of 99. A pair of nines out in Culpepper. 78 right now. Oakton 96 was the high. 92 in Southern Maryland right now. 73. 70 is probably the order of the evening. Not 90s. Today 96. Averages 87. So we overshot that by 9 degrees today. I think as we head through the day tomorrow we'll be closer to 90 with a few more clouds around. Hit or miss shower storm tomorrow to cool us off, but not too widespread till midweek. Upper 70s in most locales, just not really going to cool off that much. Most of the action this evening has been off to the Midwest and through the Ohio Valley, and I think it's going to stay there one more day before nudging in here. Tomorrow, as we head through the day, dry to start off, but through the afternoon, a few more clouds will stream in here, and maybe a few showers may try to fire off tomorrow afternoon. I still think tomorrow afternoon storm chances, best chance will be to the west. And then as we head through Wednesday and Thursday, they become a little bit more widespread. So as we head through the overnight, temperatures are in the 70s this evening. 89 on Tuesday with an isolated shower storm by Wednesday. Still in the upper 80s, showers become more scattered in nature as we look longer term. And then looking beyond through the next couple of days, Thursday, pretty much like Wednesday, some scattered showers and storms by the end of the week. Friday, still in the 80s but with a little less humidity. Friday and the start of the weekend, Saturday should feel a bit better. Most of the weekend dry, maybe another shower chance late Sunday, but the humidity is lingering for a few more days. You know, see this kind of weather, since this guy just finished his first Redskins uh, yeah. training camp, Woo! made you glad you played basketball. <laughs> glad, <laughs> made glad you glad to be you back. played basketball <laughs> indoors in the oh AC. Oh my huh? goodness, glad I'm not RG3 too, by the way. Oh, and what's yeah. scary, it's not even the regular season yet. It's already mess going on. It's what we do. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Seems like RG3 can't get it right. Another choice of words that has caused a social media storm. That's next in sports. Go back to class feeling confident. The right pair of glasses will do that for you. At VisionWorks, buy one complete pair of glasses and get another pair free. Any frames, any lenses. It's all about helping you be a better you. Vision works. Henry posted. New apartment comes with the garage. It's time for a big boy car. Congrats, Henry. Hurry into the Honda Summer Clearance event. And you can get a great deal on the Honda Accord from KBB.com's best overall brand. With a rear view camera and text message reader standard, it's the perfect big boy car. Awesome. I'll be right over.